Hi, in this video, I'd like to share with you how to allow static resources in Spring Security. I am Nam Ming at Code Java.net. You know, when Spring Security is added to the class path, it will secure access to the entire application. That means all requests must be authenticated, including static resources such as images, JavaScript, CSS files. But in some cases, we need to allow static resources to pass through Spring Security Filter. For example, a custom login page needs to use static resources such as images and CSS to show the login form properly. Let me show you a Java Spring project in my IDE. You see, this is a Java Spring project. And in this uh, project, I have a custom login page, as you can see here, login.html. And you see, in this login HTML page, it refers to a CSS file from WebZast. It refers to Bootstrap library, and it also refers it needs to display an image uh, inside images directory. Let me start this application. And you can see under static uh, directory, I have the directories images js. You see, okay, the application has started. And let me access in a Chrome browser. Okay, show me admin. And you can see this is the in the user interface of the login page. You can see the image uh, not display and the layout of the login form uh, is not uh, shown correctly. It's uh, because uh, it requires uh, image, image and CSS files. And you can see some errors in the console here. Okay, I have the image here. Yeah, show me admin big.png. Okay, so to allow static resources to pass through Spring Secure Filter, we need to update the, update the Spring Security Configuration class. Let me open the Spring Security Configuration class, Web Security Config class here. You can see I declare being obtained security filter chain here. And to allow static resources, you can declare being obtained web customizer like this web security customizer. Customize web security and to allow static resources, we just return a new object of Thai web security customizer using lambda expression. Lambda expression like this. Web ignoring request matches. And I want to allow static resources in images. So I specify the URL button is slash images slash and to asterisk. Uh, indicating that all files under this images directory will not be uh, checked by Spring Security Filter. Images there, you see. Okay, and uh, let me test again the login paste. And you can see now it displays the image nicely because the static resources the images are allowed passing a Spring Security Filter. And for CSS or JavaScript, you do a similar CSS to asterisk slash CSS. Suppose that you have CSS files under CSS directory. 
in this project I used WebZar for Bootstrap so I need to specify the URL button is like this slash WebZar slash to asterisk okay and let me refresh and now you see uh, no more errors in the console here and now the login form is displayed properly with uh, proper format you can see the image the style okay and in the console you can see some uh, login messages here will not secure mvc button equal slash images to ask the rex you are asking spring security to ignore mvc button this is not recommended please uh, use permit or via http security authorized http request instead that means this kind of code is working but not recommend so the proper way is to configure the HTTP security object in this method uh, that returns a bin of type security filter chain so let me show you HTTP authorized HTTP request and use lambda expression like this of hot um, request matches slash images to asterisk slash js to asterisk slash css to asterisk slash web to asterisk and permit oh so this is a proper way to allow static resources to pass through spring security filter okay now let me test Mm, something wrong. This should be WebZAS. Okay, let me refresh the login form. Okay, you see, it works nicely, and you don't see the warning message in the console here anymore. You see, so the proper way to allow static resources is using authorized HTTP request uh, permit or method like this all right so far you have seen how to allow static resources in Spring security there are two ways you can use to allow static resources to pass through Spring security filter the first way is declare a bin of Thai web security customizer in your web uh, security configuration class like this and specify the URL patterns that uh, should be ignored by Spring uh, security like this and the proper way is uh, configure a request a mapping matches uh, via the HTTP security object like this authorized HTTP request and auth request matches and specify the URL patterns that should be ignored by Spring Security and permit all like this. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.